Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? It's from Brady Cummings Fast with another Crucible video and today we are going to be talking about the top three tips that will help you masterfully win as Captain Mendoza. You will see your win rate increase as Captain Mendoza after implementing these three tips into your gameplay. Now you already know that you need to hang back and try to get headshots with his rifle, use his flashbangs for peel, and use his bunker for cover, but we're going to go over my build that I like to use and also three tech tips in less than three minutes in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into it at the end of the day your build is going to be personal preference but i prefer to go down the left column when playing heart of the hives when playing alpha hunters i like to go for the triple flashbang instead of the rifling because sometimes you get ganged on by multiple duos and you need to get an easy out with the triple flashbangs however the increased range fall off is very useful in heart of the hives and more consistent for dps the first tech tip here has to deal with Captain Mendoza's recoil. And yes, it's the same pattern when you aim down sights every time. It goes up to the right, a little bit to the left in the middle of the clip, and then goes back to the top right for the second half of the clip. So compensate for that by pulling the opposite ways and you should be good to go. Remember, the recoil does not reset once you stop firing. You will have to pull down manually with your mouse or with your joysticks. Now your bunker displaces people, but it also displaces allies, including you. And you can use your bunker to do a bunker jump or a bunker boost, as you guys just saw here. This is very useful to use on elevated surfaces because then you can jump off the ledge and send yourself flying to try and aid your escape if you're being chased down, let's say around central, where you have to jump down into the river to try and escape. Use this as added movement to Captain Mendoza's already nifty move speed. As for the third tip, the flashbangs are very powerful and have a decent radius. Make sure you catch the enemies inside the radius that is dictated by the yellow lines that go around. But it is better to throw the flashbang at the feet of the enemies because most of the time when you're throwing them, they're going to be chasing you and running towards you. So run away, do a 180, and throw it at their feet. Throwing it behind them will typically result in a miss. Remember that regularly the flashbangs have a decent radius and a one second blind effect. However, the mini flash grenades have half of both of those, half the radius and half the blind effect. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to throw it right at their feet if you're using those mini flash grenades. And there you have it. You're all ready to increase your win rate as Captain Mendoza in Crucible. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please consider dropping a like. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another Crucible video. And don't forget to catch my streams live on Twitch each and every single day. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you have a wonderful day. Peace. Yo, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Help me. Ah. No, she's not. She's not going to get me. Hell no, brother. I'm using it. I'm using it. I'm, I'm using a med. I'm using a medi. Yo, I was a 